everybody. I'm going to my mom's. I got my gloves here. I don't know if you can see them. Oh gosh, I'm dropping it. They're in the car. I'm heading over to my mom's. I'm going to see what she thinks of this whole Floyd thing. I'm so excited about this. My husband's funny. He thinks that uh, I'm not excited enough. He doesn't get it. It's like, this is like the greatest thing ever. I'm so excited. I know that I'm the only person on the earth who can beat Floyd. He's never been beat before. Everybody's like, well, why wouldn't you uh, beat all the other people first? I'm like, I don't want to beat somebody who's been beat before. I want to beat somebody who's never been beat before. And that makes sense? Totally? Yeah? So I'm totally excited. I am at this point in my life when I am just all about just having fun and motivating people. And it's going to be all about training people with me. I'm going to start a whole movement for like three months. I don't know, whatever the training phase is. I got to look that up, I guess. I don't know how long people train before a fight, but I'm going to get everybody to train with me. I am the wellness doctor and I have tons of friends who love to train and I love to work out every single day. And if I can get people working out with me, having a good time and um, getting fit, maybe even fit enough to beat Floyd, although I'm the only one who can beat Floyd. It's really super exciting. Super cool. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a bunch of people really, really fit. And even if he like, did actually beat me, which he can't, but I'd still win because everybody would be like getting fit with me and people would really be like changing their lives and saving their lives. So there's like no way I can lose in this. This is exciting. So anyway, okay, so uh, I probably shouldn't be driving down the road and holding my phone. That's probably not safe. So anyway, um, I'll see you in just a second when I get to my mom's. Okay, here we are. We're in my mom's room now. Okay, mom. Like, totally. For real. Do you think I can beat Floyd? Really? Beat Floyd who? Mayweather. Don't know him. Yeah, he's a boxer. He's never been beat before. Do you think I can beat him? No way, honey. Mama, you have to have some confidence in me. So You're a lover, not a fighter. What's wrong with you? No, I'm tough. I'm really tough. Oh, you're not as tough as you think you are. I'm really, really tough. I could whip you with that little <laughs> My finger. My own broken. mother thinks she can beat me. With that, with that one broken little finger. Oh, Mom, come on. Oh, our clothes almost match. Look. My pants kind of match your pajamas. Well, we're almost twins. We call that Twinkies? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you doing in bed? It's like a 7 o'clock at night. I'm very ill. I'm very old. I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> Where else would I go, honey? I don't have a car. I don't have any money. I don't have nothing. <laughs> well, maybe all that will change when I beat Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like winning the lottery if you beat somebody who's never been beat, right? Yeah. So how do you feel about me beating Floyd now? That'd be good? Go for it. <laughs> It's all about the money now. Yes. He got like a hundred million dollars this last fight. So if I got a hundred million dollars, do you think that'd be worth it? Oh yeah. You think I could beat him then? Sure. Okay, go. Are you saying that? I'm just I'm saying that. You could really oh. put my broken fingers sticking out. <laughs> Your confidence just went up. Mm -hmm. Your confidence just went up in me. Oh, I feel great. <laughs> you whip anybody. <laughs> okay, her confidence went up. Okay, my own mother thinks that I can beat Floyd now. Without a, without a it doubt. It took a little bit of a process, but we got this. We got this. You heard it straight from the horse's mouth. Horse's mouth. My mother. She could beat him hands down. Don't even try. Yeah, it's gonna happen, right? Yeah. We'll do this. Okay. And then we get to a house and a car. Only with your Alzheimer's, you probably wouldn't remember where you're driving to. Maybe we better get you a driver. Who said I had Alzheimer's? <laughs> crazy or what? Uh, okay. Memory issues. Mind issues. <laughs> we'll get a driver just in case. We don't want to get lost. Okay. She thinks I can do it now. This is awesome.
Thanks, Mom. I love you. Oh, I love you. What, what would you like to have? Your, your choice. Mom, I can't eat chocolates. I'm in training to fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry you're in training to fight. <laughs> Who are you going to fight? <laughs> Floyd. Floyd Mayweather. I, uh... I can't open the box because I can't feel my fingers because they're in these gloves. I cannot get in. See? I can't. I can't. I, 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 that's good. That's part of training is you can't get the chocolates because you can't feel your hands. Yeah, that's kind of crazy because you can't, like, you don't really have opposable thumbs. See? Because, like, like, the thumb is, like, there's, like, a piece of little, like, fabric or something holding the thumb on here so I'm more I'm that you had it I really am <laughs> so worried. I know so I don't have like opposable thumbs so I can't like get in the chocolate so that's good that's good so that'll help me get really fit and, and train this is a new <laughs> diet method you wear these on your hands all the time and you won't eat right I can't put your food in my mouth <laughs> or are you knock it off <laughs> oh my gosh and like my nose it's just a little, and I can't even really itch it. Uh. <laughs> Ew. Can you imagine picking your nose with these? <laughs> oh, no. Pull up to the stoplight, and some, some chicks in there, like, picking her nose. <laughs> <laughs> you try to act like, oh, I'm not picking my nose. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Not picking my nose. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Think about, uh oh, what was that? Bubbling. <laughs> Your tummy's bubbling. My mother's tummy's bubbling. Can you imagine trying to put makeup on with these? Mascara, lipstick. Oh, I'm going to see if you can put lipstick on. Oh, hang on. I'm going to turn this off just a second. You're married to the army. Okay, I cheated just a little bit because I'm taking the top off with this. Okay, so I'm putting this in here. You see, I'm, I'm like kind of just prop it. Oh, oh I got to prop it kind of in the back. Okay, now I'm putting on my lipstick with a glove. Look at this. I can do it. Hey, it's working. Cool. What do you think? Good? Good. Okay, cool. So you can put on lipstick with a boxing glove. I don't know about mascara. Mascara might be a little tricky, though. Yeah, it would. Yeah. <laughs> You'll put your eye out. Go ahead, say it. All mothers say it. You'll put your eye out. You'll put your eye out. <laughs> <laughs> she had to say that. I never had a BB gun or anything, so she just had to say that. I'm thirsty. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to have to turn the phone off because, like, I have to put this down to get this lipstick out. You want to say anything? Any last words before the big fight? Help, help me, help me. <laughs> okay, say that thing you just said again about if something happened to me. If something happened to you, I would have no le reason to live. <laughs> You're half dead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, that finished me off. Hell, 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 How long are you planning to live? You just turned 79 the other day. Good grief. 79? Who told you that? I mean, 39. Who told you I was 79 years old? Um, I've been your daughter for almost 50 years. Hmm. That's not right. I'm not 79 years old. I'm a mere child. Mentally. Same difference. How long do you think you're going to live? Forever. Forever, really? Mm hmm. Just to aggravate you. <laughs> oh, my tummy's growling too. It's so crazy. You good grief. I know. <laughs> Better have a piece of chocolate. <laughs> Mother, I can't. I'm, I'm in training. In training for what? The fight. Where's my glove? See, next to the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Who are you going to fight? Floyd. <laughs> Floyd who? <laughs> See, that's the beauty of having memory issues. You can't remember and you won't stress and you won't worry about me fighting him because like three minutes from now you won't remember. I just told you that. You're, you're going to fight Floyd? Yeah. Floyd who? <laughs> I love all
Alzheimer's. It's like the coolest thing in the whole world. I could just pretty much tell her anything and she won't remember it in three minutes from now. Hey, Mom, I'm going to get a tattoo all up my neck. What? <laughs> you're not either. You might tattoo your butt, but you're going to <laughs> tattoo your neck. Here, wait, watch this in three minutes. I'm going to tell her that again and she won't remember. I do too. <laughs> remember. You think I'm stupid? Not gonna get a tattoo on your neck, you're gonna get it on your butt. <laughs> that would be painful. Yeah, it would. You have to sit on it eventually. <laughs> right? Right. right. Unless you just got on one butt cheek and then you could like shift. Yeah. Oh, honey. I'm so ugly. I'm so sorry. I'm so ugly. Oh, Mama, you're absolutely beautiful. The lighting's not so good in here right now. I'm not feeling so good either because my hair girl was supposed to see me tonight. And look at my roots. Like, they're really dark. Usually it's like a four-hour ordeal when she bleaches my hair. Yes, I'm not a true blonde. I act goofy like a true blonde. But Are you a true redhead? Why, well, sure. <laughs> from the bottle, from the bottle. <laughs> hey, Mom, I'm going to get a tattoo on my neck. Well, you better get it on your butt. <laughs> <laughs> we got about a three minute window before you remember things or forget things. It's pretty cool. You better not get that butt hey, tattoo. Hey, you remember who I'm going to fight? Oh. Uh, me? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. <laughs> Gonna fight Figaro. Floyd. Floyd who? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Floyd great. Kramer. You got blood on your pillow, Mom. Look at that. Have you been fighting Floyd? Mm -hmm. Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd who? Floyd who? Yeah, that's what everybody's gonna be saying when I'm done with them. Floyd who? And how much we're at. <laughs> and just hand the money to my mother. Yeah. Hey, you remembered that. Funny how you remember money. <laughs> sure, I'm not stupid. <laughs> she has a specific diagnosis of Alzheimer's. It's Alzheimer's that only remembers money. <laughs> money, money, honey, money, money. <laughs> I wonder if that's a real medical diagnosis. I'm a doctor. I should probably know that. Forget it. You wouldn't make a pimple on a doctor's oh, butt. Oh, God. My mom doesn't even remember I'm a doctor. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is well, really aren't I right? That I wouldn't make a pimple on a doctor's butt? Uh -huh. That's pretty sad, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Can you believe people actually trust me as their doctor? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't let your medical uh, insurance lapse. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> they think you're a doctor. <laughs> uh, that's sort of conflict of interest. <laughs> I don't know. Why would it be a conflict of interest? Oh, Lord help me. <laughs> You're beautiful, something, whatever you're supposed to be. Thanks, Mom. You're gorgeous. You always the, make me feel pretty. You're the best I could do, honey. Aww. I'm serious. I've got a good plastic surgeon lined up in case my face gets messed up. I do. Only the best, right? You so, don't cheat on plastic surgery. No, you do not. How many did you have? Like three? Face lifts? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had that money back. Well, now. see, actually, I figure that I'm almost 50, and you had your first facelift at, like, 50. Mm -hmm. So I'm figuring it's about time for a facelift anyway, so even if Floyd does mess me up just a little bit, it's okay. Because it's time for a facelift anyway. I'm going to have to go to the surgeon. Don't tell him that, though, because it might, like... Who? Floyd. Floyd who? <laughs> 
Floyd who? Floyd Kramer? Oh, Floyd Kramer. Floyd Kramer. Don't tell Floyd. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you, Mama. I can't remember shit. <laughs> you can't say that on TV. Why? <laughs> it's not ladylike. I can't remember crap. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. So unladylike. I guess I can't really be a lady if I'm in a fight. Well, with pink gloves, so I don't know why not. <laughs> oh, how did she my? I'm gonna bite you tonight. <laughs> my pink gloves. <laughs> oh, well, are they waiting for you, honey? <laughs> that, keep that plastic <laughs> surgery, surgery, surgeon close by. I will. I'll get him on speed dial. I'll be ready. All right. I love you, Mama. I gotta go home. Well, where'd you go home to? It's almost bedtime. Aren't you gonna go to sleep? Well, why in the hell would I want to go to sleep? <laughs> I've got to die anyway. <laughs> you can sleep when you die. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we just lay here and talk about fighting all night if you want. I don't believe this. I do not believe this. <laughs> Pink boxing gloves. Ah, help, help, help. <laughs> I knew you was gay. Mother! <laughs> I think only if a guy had pink boxing gloves, he'd be gay. Girls are supposed to have pink boxing gloves. Barbie. Hey, there was never a boxing Barbie. Not that we saw, but... <gasps> there totally should be, though. I think we'll invent that. You better see if it's been invented. And we just overlooked it. I don't think I've ever seen one, and I think I've had every Barbie ever made. I know. Daddy was an inventor. He was a nap. <laughs> Maybe if he had invented boxing Barbie, I wouldn't need a hundred million dollars right now. Well, I forgot why you need a hundred million dollars. <laughs> I don't know. For me a face that's lift, how a ray much, lift. That's how much the last guy got paid to fight Floyd. <sighs> Floyd who? <laughs> Floyd who? <laughs> that's going to be a new t-shirt everybody's going to wear. Floyd who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, help me. <laughs> I'm going to get you a t-shirt that says Floyd who? I'll wear it. Do it. Okay, cool. So, you feel good about me meeting Floyd now? Go for it, girl. Yeah, you know, when I first got here, you're like, what? No, you can't be Floyd. What? No, you're like, oh, you got Go this. Go for it. Yeah, I got this. All right, it's almost dark, Mom. Start what? It's almost dark. What about? Like, this room is dark. Like, the video is getting darker and darker and darker. How my tummy's feeling? You're hungry. I might be. I have a chocolate. <laughs> I can't. I'm in training. <laughs> All right. I gotta get home. I love you.